In this video, I will show you how to use HTML forms with Flask, how to send data to our app through forms to search something and to create a new post. The search form is defined in the base HTML file. And here I want to add to the search form the method attribute. It will be get method. By default, forms use get methods, but I want to set it explicitly because it's a tutorial. So, when a user submits a form, the data are sent to a server as a name value pair. And so, I have to add to the input tag the name attribute. Name will be just Q, query. And uh, the name attribute is the name of a variable that will be used to store a user's data. Also, input tags have value attribute. And uh, the value attribute of the input fields gets its value when a user inputs something to the input field. I can just delete it and the value attribute will be filled with data automatically. And now I want to handle the submitted data and I want to do it in the post list view function in the blueprint py module. And here I have to import the request object. And in the post list function I have to get the data that a user inputted to the input field. I need to get the value of the queue variable. So post list will have the queue and uh, the request object has the args dictionary that stores all parameters of request. The request object has the args dictionary that stores all parameters of request. Args dictionary, I call its get method and I need to get the queue key, the value of the queue key. And uh, the args dictionary should have the queue key because the name attribute of the input field has the queue value. Then if a user submitted something in the search form, I want to find the post with it in its title or in its body. So if Q the post variable will be post query filter then post title contains Q or the pipe character post body contains Q otherwise it will be all posts. Let's test it. For example, second and I've got a list of posts with the second word in its title. Okay, the search is working and now I want to create a form for creating posts. To deal with HTML forms, I want to use WT Forms Flask extension. So I have to install it. Okay. And now I'm creating a new file in the posts directory. I need the forms py file and here from wt forms import the form class string field class and text area field class the form class will generate an html form for my models like in Django so I am defining a new class that will be 
post form and it will be the subclass of the form class. The title field will be an instance of the string field class and body will be an instance of the text area field class. The string field and text area field classes take some strings, title and body, and uh, these strings will become labels to the text. And now I want Flask to generate HTML form based on the fields of the post form class. So let's create a new handler for this form. In the blueprint py file, at the top of the file, I want to create a new function post road create. It's very similar to the slug, so I want to define this function at the top of the blueprint py file. And the function will be post create. And now I have to import from the forms py module the post form class. And I need to use the dot here because dot means the current folder. Then in the post create function, I have to create an empty form. The form variable will be an instance of the post form class. And uh, then I have to pass this form to the HTML template. Let's say it will be post create HTML. In the templates posts folder, I'm creating a new file. It will be post create HTML and it will extend the base HTML file. And uh, the form. I want to delete class. The action attribute of a form is a link to the function that will handle the submitted data. In my case, it's the post create function. So I have to use the URL for function. And uh, the posts, it's a blueprint and post create. Then the form should have the method attribute with the post value because I am creating a new post and so the HTTP method should be the post method. And then inside the form tags I am defining the for loop because I have to iterate through the form fields. For field in form and here I want to use field label method and field. It means that at each iteration of the for loop the field variable gets an element of the form variable. That's the title field and the body field of the form. And I want to remind you that the form variable here is an instance of the post form class. So at each iteration, these fields are wrapped with the form group div. So let's test it. Line 19. Blueprint. I don't see any problems here. I just restart the server. Okay, it's working. So let's test it again. Create. 
and uh, we can see this small and ugly form. It has a lack of CSS classes. But before I add CSS classes to the form, I want to add a link to this page in the main menu. Here, for example. So I need the base HTML. And I want to add a link, new post, for instance, href attribute will be URL4. Create post. Post create, sorry. Okay, to add CSS classes to the label and to the input field, I can pass them to the label method and uh, to the field method. Field method gets the class that equals to form control. And I forgot about button. Let's test it again. Okay. So the form is ready and now I want to handle the submitted data. I need my post create function. By default, all views handle only get methods. So first of all, I have to define the methods parameter that equals to a list with a post string and get string. So this post create function will handle post and get requests. Because to display to a user the form, I have to process a get request. And to create a post, I have to process the post request. So I need both of them. Then I have to check whether the request is a get or a post and handle them accordingly. So if request method equals to post, the request object has a dictionary that stores all data of submitted form. It's the form dictionary and the form dictionary has the title key request form dictionary. I call the get method and I need the title. It has the title because in the post form class I defined the title field. And the, the body the same. And now I want to create a post object. Try post equals to post title equals to my title variable and body equals to my body variable and then I have to save the post object to the database I need the DB object from app import DB here I'm adding the post variable to the session And I'm calling the commit function, commit method. Accept. Anything. Anything you want. And uh, after creating a post, I want to redirect a user to a page with this post. So I need the redirect function and the URL for function. It will be the result of the if block. So return redirect URL4. I need a URL and uh, it will be post post detail 
function and the slug will be post slug the slug of this post and if it's not the post request it will be a get request and then i'll just render to a user an empty form by the way to sort posts by date we can use in the post list function instead of the all order by method and uh, i want to order them by created date in descending order let's test it f5 new post okay it works number four so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching